Hi everyone, welcome to another video. And this time we are going to have a look of uh, Max Verstappen's Red Bull from the Turkish Grand Prix, which originally obviously is supposed to be Japanese Grand Prix, but as it's being cancelled, they uh, still decided to do a special uh, livery for uh, for Honda basically. And it's quite nice. I mean, considering it's like it's it's plain white with the Red Bull stickers on it, but somehow I still like it. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment if you've got an opinion. But I quite like it. It's maybe just because it's a lot different to what normally Red Bull does. They never do livery for uh, for special races or anything. It's just um, they only just do it for uh, for the preseason testing sometimes, and um, yeah, because of that, I really wanted this one. It's it's a quite special one, and also it comes with the in the intermediate tires, and um, I quite like that. It's 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 really nice. I think this is my first car with uh, with these type of tires, and um, I find it really interesting. It's it's really cool. I think. And uh, yeah, as we know, that race was was like a really wet race from the start to finish. I think, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, got got good memories from that race. Um, as uh, well, it's not a secret. I'm a I'm a Max Verstappen fan, and um, he obviously gained some points on Lewis Hamilton on that race. But anyway, that that was not the reason I wanted this. Um. Let's let's take a closer look of uh, some of the usual things. Front wing, again, Spark put that little thingy under the under the front wing to save it from uh, vibration. I think um, usual nicely detailed thing, um, front wing, and also um, those little black lines. They are still just. Um, painted there. I don't think the 1 to 43 scale models ever gonna have the the gaps between those flaps. Um these little wings winglets I've I didn't notice that to be honest. I, I've got the the normal box standard livery Red Bull car RB sixteen B and somehow I've never spotted those. So it's interesting the because of its uh, different colour you can spot details like that and um, yeah it's really cool the halo I like that also that um, it goes into like back to the usual color from white yeah it's, it's also really good and the back of the car check this out I have no idea what that means if anyone knows I would be really interested to find that out the diffuser really nice again so recently I had problems with the uh, mm, spark but on this model well there's not much actually I currently find any issues on this model so I'm really pleased with it and um, somewhat it feels a bit like gambling with spark at the moment you either get a good one or not in my previous video and you have seen uh, Landon Norris's McLaren from the Monaco Grand Prix. I'm quite happy that uh, that car is um, in really good shape as well. So uh, just like this one, it's pretty spotless and I'm quite happy about it. But yeah, Spark is only just a little bit cheaper than Mini Champs and, and uh, they do make some mistakes every now and then, unfortunately. But yeah. Never mind, it's fine at this time. So, I tried to show you that little detail. I think I was showing that earlier on different models. Those little cuts on the rim. It's awesome little detail. I mean, it's just unbelievable. How can they do that? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, other than that, I compared this model to the original and um, it looks like it's completely identical, just as it should be, obviously. The only difference is delivery, but um, but uh, it's it's quite different. So 
I wanted the same car twice. Same as probably McLaren. I will get a, another McLaren of the normal with the normal orange livery at some point, I think. So yeah. Anyway, that was my uh, quick review of this Max Verstappen model car from the Turkish slash Japanese Grand Prix. Um, if you got any opinions, please share it in the comments. And thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.